frame 10. This frame is a continuation of the computer class and has four pictures. The first picture shows a computer with assistive devices such as special headphones which can make voices louder, keyboards with braille buttons and a joystick mouse. Jyoti Ma'am continues explaining. Well, for this, the first step is to have devices which help persons with disabilities give commands to the computer. These are called assistive devices. Like this braille keyboard and vertical mouse. Now, Maya will show us how these devices are used. Jyoti Ma'am continues explaining. In the second picture, Maya is asked to come up and show how the Braille keyboard is used. Jyoti Ma'am says, Come Maya, try it out. Yes, ma'am. Maya is unsure but gives it a try and types her name. Mm -hmm. All right. M A Y E. Good. The class cheers for her. One child says, Wow, Maya. You did it really well. Thanks. Superb. Awesome, Maya. Wonderful. In the third picture, Jyoti Ma'am continues explaining about the features that can be seen on a website that makes it accessible for everyone. The picture shows zoom-in windows on the features of font size control shown by A plus, A and A minus written on three closely placed buttons. Color contrast shown by boxes with the letter A in combination of different colors. Screen reader denoted by the text on the screen being read and the voice coming out of the speakers. And lastly, closed captioning which is shown as the box of words appearing at the bottom of a video screen. Jyoti Ma'am says, Thank you, Maya. Children, the next step for web accessibility is to make reading the websites easy with the help of screen readers, which read out what is written on the screen. We also have display options. such as to change the size of the text or the color of the background. The last picture shows Jyoti Ma'am playing a video as the class burst into giggles. <laughs> <laughs> a computer screen appears with a video of a cartoon. and closed captioning appearing below the video. Jyoti Ma'am says, <laughs> I knew you all love this cartoon. But take a closer look at the text at the bottom. 
describing the dialogues and sounds in the video. This is known as closed captioning, which helps people who cannot hear properly.